came alive for death question, it's obvious that the whole trip system is going to have to be amended. So that we don't have these fights that cause people to die. We can never let this happen again. It's fine for people in rich countries to say this is what it ought to be. They don't have to live in these little villages and watch people die like flies. Hillary Clinton, at a campaign stop on Sunday, June 14, 2015, spoke about the provisions in the TPP dealing with drug patents. Press reports quote Hillary as saying that if drug companies are, quote, going to get what they want, end quote, in the TPP, Medicare should be able to negotiate prices. But what Hillary could have said, and could have explained, is that drug companies should not, quote, get what they want, end quote, from the TPP, and that higher drug prices kill people. Hillary needs to clarify her position. Does she want to give drug companies what they want, which is higher drug prices everywhere from Vietnam to the United States? Or does she want to give patients what they need, which is the flexibility for governments to make medicine affordable? Why are we worried about Hillary Clinton's view on drug patents? For one reason, according to CNN, Hillary has made at least 45 endorsements of the TPP in the past. And on at least five occasions, she has cited the expanded intellectual property standards for doing so. As Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton directed her staff to put pressure on India against granting compulsory licenses on patents for cancer drugs and pressured smaller developing countries in Asia and South America. Hillary Clinton should reflect upon the warnings that Bill Clinton mentioned earlier and clearly speak out against trade policies that place the interests of patents above patients. Trade agreements can facilitate the cooperation needed to fund R&D without raising drug prices and putting patients at risk. Of course, we don't want to single Hillary out from all of the other candidates running for the Democratic nomination for president. On September 14, 2013, Martin O'Malley was one of 14 governors who wrote to President Obama to complain that the decision by India to grant a compulsory license on the Bayer cancer drug Nexavar, quote, raised questions about whether the country is striking a fair balance between public health considerations and intellectual property, end quote. O'Malley did this as part of a larger drug company campaign to cut off the supply of generic cancer drugs from India. We can no longer afford to have politicians use trade policies to raise drug prices and put patients at risk. We need new approaches that de-link drug R&D costs from drug prices and ensure sustainable and universal access to the most effective medicines available. <laughs>